At the high school level, we had several great matchups across the area. Let's start with the Wichita South Titans playing against the number one ranked team in 6A, the Heights Falcons. Sophomore big man Malachi Wilkins, six foot eight and 16 years old. He has it in the post. Ends up dishing it outside to Jordan Alford, who switches the three. Wilkins this time. He's going to get to old TJ Williams. He's pretty good and able to knock down the jumper there. And then Wichita South, they're not going anywhere. Parker Hardgrave buries the defense down low, able to get the bucket for the Titans. Heights, though, just too much firepower. They end up with the 58 38 victory. We had a top 10 matchup at the girls level with the Falcons currently sitting in fourth and South ranked ninth. After the steal by South, uh, Ramia Kennedy is able to take it the other way for the fast break layup. And this time, Heights gets a steal and they end up getting it to Kennedy Jackson. Great pass to get to her. She somehow gets the layup to go plus the foul off another Heights miss. Kennedy able to take it back for another transition layup for South, but Heights they end up with the 18 or 17 point victory. Cape and Mount Carmel, they are the third ranked boys team in 5A. They were host, or they were at Wichita East this evening. East down a couple of scores early in the first quarter. Javon Rogers takes it coast to coast for the layup. Cape and responds though, and a dish from Mix, Max Keller down low to Bo Dalian scores the bucket. Then defense turning into offense off a steal. Dominic Shibley makes the extra pass for the finish at the rim and Cape and they cruise to a 68-45 blowout victory. Fifth ranked Andover High, they're squaring off the Crosstown rival Andover Central. Jaguars all over the Trojans early. Brian Perry, he drives in to, for the score here. He has looked really good for Central so far this year. More from the Jaguars. This time they go inside to Omar Alzmati for the one-handed slam. And Trojans, though, they would fight back. I mean, they're the fifth ranked team in the state for a reason. Corner triple here from Ryan Greco. And then one more time from Andover High. It's not an Andover High highlight unless I show Eli Shetler. He's again in the corner. He can shoot with the best of them. He drains the shot, but it's the Jaguars who come out on top with the win. We had another crosstown rivalry with Mays playing the number number one ranked team in 5A, Mays South. The rebound leads to a transition layup for the Mavericks, Michael Cates. And then Mays is going to miss the shot here, but Braden Mayavella is able to get the tip in to fall for the score. Mavericks, though, they kept running on the Eagles. And again, Cates, he's going to end up driving in for the bucket. This time he does through contact and gets the foul. Mays South, they run away with that one by 32. And then finally, fifth ranked Bishop Carroll was at Wichita West on the girls' side. It's West who gets on the board though first with this off the dribble pull up three from Kiari Albright. Not a whole lot of bright spots for the Pioneers today, but she was one of them. This game though was all Bishop Carroll. This time they work it around before finding Bryn Stevens and she's able to get that jumper to fall. Bishop Carroll, they roll to a 58 point win. Be right back after the break.